Today we're going to focus on quotation marks and the focus is writers use double quotation marks to set off dialogue. So this may be a reminder in regards to the rules of dialogue punctuation. And a reminder is always good because you will reread your paper and make sure that when someone is speaking that you have used quotation marks appropriately and have punctuated quote, dialogue appropriately. So first and foremost, we're going to start with writers always insert punctuation inside the quotation marks. So in this example, quotation mark, I am going to take you home with me, comma, quotation mark, the boy told the brown puppy. So the text in black is the dialogue and the dialogue tag is always included to identify who's speaking. So that's in red. The dialogue is in black and there is punctuation that is placed inside the quotation marks to separate the, the actual dialogue from the dialogue tag. In this case, it happens to be a comma. The next example is writers always include a dialogue tag to identify the speaker. This one is important because some of us are forgetting to include a dialogue tag. Therefore, the reader may get confused on who happens to be speaking. So in this case, we start with the teacher stated, comma, quotation mark. Quotation marks help the reader understand which character is saying which words in your story period. The period is inside the dialogue quotation marks. Frankie asked, comma, do you mean I should try, do you mean I should frame my character's dialogues with quotation marks every time I write? Question mark. The question mark is inside the quotation marks. Yes. Organizing the dialogue with quotation marks makes your message more clear. End of sentence is a period, there's quotation marks, and then the dialogue tag, the teacher declared. Frankie questioned, comma, may I quote you on that? Again, the question mark is inside the quotation marks. Yes, you certainly may. Exclamation point is inside the quotation marks. The teacher responded. Now, you may have noticed that with my dialogue tag, I made sure that the speaker's name came first in the dialogue tag. The teacher stated, Frankie asked, the teacher declared, the teacher responded, Frankie questioned. And so when you include the dialogue tag, it's important that you make sure the speaker's name comes first. Now I wanna give you a chance, I'm gonna go show you how I did this with my paper. And while I read through this, I'm looking to see if I have any dialogue. Now, if I do have dialogue, when I'm looking at my dialogue, I wanna make sure if the speaker changes that I start a new paragraph. Also, if someone is speaking, I typically start a new paragraph when someone is speaking. So while I snuggle deeper into my blankets, I attempt to convince myself to roll out of bed. If I get up now, I can watch television alone. I will have the remote to myself and can choose my Netflix show. Riley always takes charge of the remote. One can only handle Fuller House for a short period of time. So this is my chance. Get up now and I can turn on whatever I want for 30 minutes. I can wake up now, I whisper to myself. So there we go, I'm speaking, I'm whispering. So I have quotation marks at the beginning of the dialogue, at the end of my sentence, I have a period and then quotation marks because the punctuation goes inside the quotation marks. My dialogue, speaker first, I whisper to myself. So I have everything punctuated properly now and because it was a change it was a new speaker. I started a new paragraph.
Now, if I go down a little bit further, I'm going to look and make sure I have this correct as well. Growing up, my brother always hit the snooze button numerous times, and I did too. Our parents were our alarm clocks. My brother's room was downstairs, and my dad made numerous trips up and down the steps to, make, to wake him every morning. David, time to get up, Dad said. David, get up now, Dad ordered. David, get up now, or you will miss the bus, Dad hollered. So I have a change in speaker, so I need to start a new paragraph there. Now, my dad was speaking, so I have quotation marks at the beginning and end of the words spoken, and the punctuation is inside the quotation marks. Speaker first, dad said. Now, I don't need to start another paragraph for the next statement my dad says, but I think for effect, I'm going to, just because I like the effect of that break, that line break. Again, quotation marks, David, get up now, period, quotation mark. Punctuation goes inside the quotation marks, dad ordered, speaker first on the dialogue tag. Again, next one, for effect, I'm gonna start a new paragraph. David, get up now or you will miss the bus. Punctuation goes inside the quotation marks. Dad hollered. Speaker first on the dialogue tag. So the goal with dialogue is you want to make sure the speaker is first on the dialogue tag. And then quotation marks are at the beginning of the dialogue. And at the end of the dialogue, and punctuation is inside the quotation marks. So now your job is to go to your own paper and reread and make sure that you have punctuated dialogue appropriately.